The year was 1964, and the American car landscape was about to change forever with the introduction of a legend. The 1964 Ford Mustang. This was no ordinary car. It was a game changer. The birth of the pony car. And it came in three sleep body styles that caught the eye of every car enthusiast. The convertible. The hardtop coupe. And later in the year, the fastback. Let's talk power. The Mustang offered a range of engines to suit every kind of driver. The base engine was a 170 cubic inch inline 6, generating 101 horsepower at 4,400 revolutions per minute and 156 pound feet of torque at 2,400 revolutions per minute. A reliable choice for those looking for an economical ride. For a little more oomph, drivers could upgrade to the 260 cubic inch V8, boasting 164 horsepower at 4,400 revolutions per minute and 258 pound-feet of torque at 2,100 revolutions per minute, providing a satisfying blend of power and efficiency. But for those who craved real performance, the 289 cubic inch V8 was the top choice, with 210 horsepower at 4,400 revolutions per minute and a hefty 300 pound-feet of torque at 2,800 revolutions per minute. This engine, equipped with a four-barrel carburetor, was all about power, speed, and that distinctive growl of a classic American muscle car. When it came to transmissions, the Mustang offered versatility to match its power. Drivers could choose between a three-speed manual for straightforward, hands-on driving, a four-speed manual for those who wanted a bit more control and engagement, or the smooth, easy-shifting three-speed, cruisomatic automatic transmission. For a more relaxed drive, the Mustang's dimensions were compact but sporty, measuring 108 inches in wheelbase, 181, 6 inches in length, and 68.2 inches in width. Depending on the engine and the options selected, the curb weight ranged from around 2,562 pounds to just over 2,800 pounds light enough to be nimble, but sturdy enough to feel solid on the road. Performance was where the Mustang truly shinned. The 1964 and a half model could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 9 to 12 seconds. Depending on the engine and transmission combination, the top speed varied between 100 and 120 miles per hour, delivering a thrilling ride. Whether cruising on the highway or pushing the limits on a back road, the suspension was designed to provide a balance between comfort and handling. Up front, the Mustang featured an independent coil spring suspension with a stabilizer bar, offering a smooth, Responsive ride and better control through the turns. At the rear, a live axle with semi-elliptic leaf springs gave the car a solid, dependable feel on the road. Stopping power came from drum brakes all around. 9-inch drums in the front and 8-inch drums in the rear, which were the standard for the era, providing sufficient braking force for the Mustang's weight and performance. Then see suspension and brake pictures and and then some vintage pics from 60 and in the end of this video, you see the designer of this legend till date.